Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the call. This is the doctor's call. We host this every Tuesday at uh, 11 o'clock Central Time, noon Eastern, and, and whatever time zone it happens to be in, in your part of the world. Uh, my name is Dr. Kirk Fisnick. I'm up here in beautiful uh, Fargo, North Dakota. Actually, I'm out in the country just a little bit, and, and it's a balmy 12 degrees today, 12 degrees above zero Fahrenheit. And, uh, and we've got some snow on the ground. And what a great time to talk about anti-aging, right? And, and really, yeah. anti-aging probably isn't the right term because anti means stop. And if you stop aging, that means you're dying. So we don't really want to start dying. What we want to do is we want to have age reversal, age reversal. So um, as you hear me talk and, and mention things to people, uh, you'll hear me, you'll hear me, you know, say that once in a while that, uh, that, uh, you know, we want to, we actually want to do age reversal. And, and, you know, when I was talking down in, in Australia, I gave 24 talks over, uh, over a three week period of time when I was there. And, uh, one of the things that I talked about is that if we take a look at, at the, um, the, uh, I guess what I'm going to say is that, uh, the, the, um, 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 average lifespan of a, of a person, I mean, we can go back to the days of the caveman and you'll see that, you know, if you were, if you were a caveman and you lived to be um, the age of, of, say, you know, 20, 22, you were considered to be um, an, an, old, uh, an old man at that time. And, uh, and uh, then, you know, you get to the time of, of you know, discovery of the new world, Christopher Columbus and uh, Captain James Cook, they, they found that uh, at that time, if you made it to 20, 25, you were considered to be an old man, right, or woman. And, uh, and then you get into the time of, you know, 1776, when our country uh, fought its revolution. And, and uh, when you, you know, look at Australia, when they were, you know, um, just really being... Um, being uh, a, a new a new world at that time, um, you know, still somewhere around 25, 30 years old, you were considered to be old, and uh, and you get it, you know, you just buzz forward a hundred years after that into the 1800s. If you made it um, 40, 45, you were considered old, and then all of a sudden something happened around 1900, and all of a sudden. Boom! If you're looking at a graph, I mean, I love looking at graphs, and all of a sudden you see this this line. It's it's kind of it's just slightly going up. I mean, from caveman days to 1900, you know, it it changed very little, and all of a sudden, at around the the year 1900, it uh, it's it the the graph goes vertical, <clears throat> and uh, all of a sudden people were living to be 50, 60, 70. 80, right? And and here we are today, and um, you know it's uh, pretty easy to to see a lot of people living um, into their 80s, and we have more centurions, people that live past the age of 100. We have more people living past the age of 100 on the planet right now than we've ever had in the history of the world. More people living over the age of 65 than we've ever had in the history of the world. And that's important um, to look at those numbers because if you merely look at, at the um, lifespan, right, those numbers can kind of be skewed up a little bit because um, back in the 1800s we figured out how to have uh, uh, babies and, and young children survive um, past the age of two, which really can screw up the numbers a lot. But, you know, so if you just look at, at lifespan, um, that's increased, and those numbers, depending on how you look at it, can be kind of skewed up a little bit. But when you look at the number of people that are living past the age of 65, when you look at the number of people living into into their 90s in the year 100, um, that gives you an accurate uh, description of, holy cow, we, we're, we're living older. Uh, and uh, along with that, we're starting to see that more of these old age diseases and uh, – and, uh, you know, that's the problem. That's the problem. Because 
with an aging society uh, and you look at those aging diseases, what happens is, is that you start going, oh, this is going to be expensive. And it's going to cost a lot of money to take care of, of all these old sick people, people with Alzheimer's, people with Parkinson's, people with cancer, people with arthritis and, and broken bones and all these different things. And so a lot of the research now when I go to my anti-aging seminars, it's not so much focusing on how do we get people to live longer. Uh, now, now we're looking at uh, what do we do to make it so that people stay healthy longer? How do we increase the healthy years? And, uh, and, and so a lot of the things that, that you hear me talking about uh, is based on that. I mean, what if, what if the average lifespan, what if the lifespan stayed where it is now, approximately, say, around 80 years old, and, and, and uh, we start seeing that people uh, live to be 80, but they don't have health problems? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be huge? And, uh, and so that's, that's kind of a, a scenario. And, uh, but they're saying that that's not what can happen. What's going to happen is, is that we're going to continue to see the lifespan uh, continue to extend. So what we want to do is we want to figure out how do we keep people from feeling old, right? I mean, they're getting old, but let's, let's get rid of that old feeling, right? And, uh, and, it's easy to see, you know, Time Magazine came out uh, a little over two years ago. I remember the cover, I had to go run out and buy the magazine, Time Magazine. It had a cover that said, this baby will live to be uh, 142 years old. And it showed a picture, it looked like the Gerber baby, the baby that was on, that, on the cover of a Gerber baby food commercial. Anyhow, um, and 142, and people say, oh, no, Kurt, that won't ever happen. And look at the graph. It's vertical. We will make it to 142. Researchers now are actually saying, yeah, that's too low. They're saying there's probably somebody on the planet right now that's going to live well into their 150s, 160s, um, somebody that was, that was probably born in the last two years. And a lot of the researchers are saying that once we hit 150, and, it, and it's common to see people hit 150, the next uh, step, stepping stone, is 250 and they say no problem 150 we'll make it 250 just like like that just boom we're there and they say once we hit 250 500 is the next stepping spot stepping stone and we'll hit that and they're saying once we hit 500 uh, we'll have we'll have the uh, science and the innovation to make it to the you know a thousand years of age and I'm just wow, crazy. I mean, to me, um, to me, that's that's like the fountain of youth. That's like uh, immortality, and uh, the things that we used to think on on sci-fi channels, you know, Star Trek, all that. It's it's all it's all coming true, and and when we're seeing it, Andrea, what do you think of that? Well, you know, I think it's a long time to be married to the same person. <laughs> Forever gets me a long, long time. Yes. You better love it them, really right? Does. It really does. You know, Dr. Well, I think Kim, that's you're amazing. Thing. Yeah. It's you know, amazing. Dr. Kim, what's your thoughts as a physician, as a fellow physician? I mean, what's your thoughts? What are you telling people now? What are you what are you saying to them? You're saying you're saying, Holy cow, you better get prepared. You might be the one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I don't really talk to them about living forever. What I talk to them about is living better and, and uh, staying healthy and uh, enjoying life as much as they can with the years they do have. And and hopefully, with what we're doing, those years will be longer and longer and uh, more than what they had planned uh, previous. You know, we. I, I got to confess, I, I I fought you for a long time to uh, when you tried to get me involved with uh, Sizzle, and. Uh, and it's, it's typical, and it's another MLM company and, you know, that. But, you know, these products are just, just awesome, and it's like we got this amazing secret that everybody should know about because uh, things like the age pill and the ripped and, you know, all the other products that, that, that work to, you know, make our lives better are, are, uh, should be used by everyone at this point. 
there's nothing else out there that will you know compare to what we have to offer with the with the product line we have. So uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, things that go into having people living longer. You know, we're going to have to think about things like you know how do you uh, uh, adapt your adjust your pension plan to make it to make it last long enough. You know, there there'll be a lot of people that, that live longer than their funds. But uh, I guess if you feel good. Um, you can you can work forever. Here I am. I'll be 67 here in a couple weeks, and uh, you know I'm, I'm starting a new business, and and I, I'm really excited about uh, you know bringing uh, bringing the uh, promise of uh, anti-aging stem cells and, and that to to as many people as possible. That's because I feel good, and uh, I take the products. And I, I've been on the H bill for uh, about four and a half months, and. You know, I'm, I, they say after three months you can cut your, uh, you know, cut back to the normal dose. I'm down. I'm, I'm down to. Uh, uh, I went from twelve down to eight. I guess I'm at now. Maybe I'll maybe I'll stay there for a while. But um, it's just been an amazing transformation in, in my body. And I, every day I continue to see more, more and more improvement as I stay with it. And I think that's part of the the challenge: getting people to stay with it long enough to to. Uh, see the results that they they can see if they do it you know yeah it's crazy isn't it it, it is it, it's it's a it's a process you know i i understand the, the the network marketing aspect because we are motivated to to educate our uh, our distributors our people our friends about what the, these these products can do i had a, a a good friend of mine he and i were best friends in high school and Kind of stayed in touch, went for years without seeing each other, and then uh, about a year ago he started coming in as a patient, and we kind of just uh, picked up where we left off, and I got him started taking the uh, H pill along with his wife, and his wife had, had was having a number of uh, uh, health challenges and going for test after test after test, and nobody could figure out what was going on. And, she started taking the H pill, and gosh darn, within a relatively short period of time, she was, it was like everything went away. <clears throat> she started feeling so much better, and she was in the office, and we were talking about it. She says, but she, she's talking about her husband, my buddy Doug. She says, and if I hadn't seen Doug, what had happened with him, I wouldn't believe it, because one month on the H pill, and all his gray hair went away. Well, 90, 95% anyways. And it was just... just uh, such a tremendous change in his, not only his hair, but his face. He just, some of the guns looking younger than me. Well, he has two days younger than me, so I guess he, he's allowed to look younger. But it's, it, it's just, uh, it's exciting from the fact that you, you have the opportun- opportunity to share this with people that you really like and you love and, and help them um, live, live happier, longer, healthier, all that stuff that, uh, comes with with having the knowledge of, of the products that we have that's cool yeah, it really is it really is you know and and dr kim as you've watched your your family and you've watched your friends you've watched yourself you've watched your patients age you know um just just off the top of your head you know what's what's some of the common things that that you've seen happen health-wise well i yeah, the, the the first thing I think I, I, I hear from people is how much better their uh, their skin is. I I had a uh, patient in. He's a he's a painter, carpenter, handyman type of guy, and I never thought he would be the kind of guy that would that would stay with the age bill. And I talked to him about. It. He said, "I want to try it." And he was in the office the other day, and and. Uh, <laughs> he started talking about all of his hair turning black. <laughs> I never had black hair before. It was always brown. <laughs> but he says, look at this. And he, he put his hand out, and he says, I had the thing here for years. And, uh, you know, he's, a, he's kind of a rough guy. He said, I just cut it off, and it would come back. And he said, look, it just went away. And so he was he was just excited as all get out about what what the, you know what the age pill was doing for him, and he don't, he'd only been on it a month or so I think at this at this point. So um, you just never know what to expect. Expect a, um, 
hair, gray hair going away, skin turning up, the wrinkles uh, go away. People notice that they say sleep better, more energy. Uh, you hear it all. You never, and I tell the patients, I don't know what to tell you to expect. All I know is you're going to do better. Your cells are going to function better, and you're going to do better. And it's going to be kind of fun to see how how you personally react to uh, to taking this uh, this pill. So uh, that's kind of the fun part of uh, of it too. And you, you know, um, Doctor Kurt, um, it seems from my my little sampling of friends and and people who are taking the age pill that it works on different people. Kind of, my theory is where they need it most. You know, I have a few people who say, well, I'm not noticing all these external things. You know, and then all of a sudden after they've taken it three months, bam, they start to see it. But I'm thinking, what was it doing to your organs? And what was it repairing in the body that you needed help with, you know? And it just seems like across the board we have all kind of similar external things going on but then a lot of people report different things first happening for me it was the skin and then other people i mean uh, we have people who have some pretty serious conditions and you know they have actual lab results that it helped with those conditions so it's pretty amazing that it just goes to work where your body needs it yeah and that that's really the truth, you know. I mean, like I talk to people and, and, um, and we talk about cancer and, and people say, oh, all of a sudden I got diagnosed with cancer. Well, no, not really. You didn't all of a sudden just get cancer. It didn't just pop up yesterday. Um, it's just that it wasn't caught. Chances are that cancer was developing over a 10 or 20 year period of time um, and, and, uh, and it just it took time. So, <clears throat> Andrea, you're, you're spot on. You're spot on. Because if you take a look at it, the nicotinamide riboside, the nicotinamide mononucleotide in the, in the product is going to uh, go to work where it needs it most. Like I'm sitting here looking at a, at, a, uh, uh, at a study here, and it says that there's been numerous studies of nicotinamide riboside, nicotinamide mononucleotide in mice. And uh, they say that it shows no negative side effects um, uh, taking even up to 17 grams per day right 17 grams per day you know um that's that's uh that's that would be like taking um i think there's one gram and a quarter teaspoon so that would be that would be like taking four teaspoons of uh, nicotinamide riboside holy cow i mean that's a lot so but they found that nicotinamide riboside stores recognition in alzheimer's uh in mice Nicotinamide riboside involves metabolic health in mice exposed to a high-fat diet. Nicotin or uh, NAD plus repletion improves stem cell function, enhances lifespan in mice. And uh, NAD, you can't take that. You can't just take a glass full of NAD. You have to take the precursors like nicotinamide riboside and nicotinamide mononucleotide, and then your body makes NAD. And again, so NAD replacing improves the stem cell function, enhances the lifespan in mice. Um, yeah, that's all we need is mice without Alzheimer's, and they live a lot longer. But um, research shows that nicotinamide riboside prevents liver cancer in mice. Nicotinamide riboside reverses fatty liver disease in mice. Nicotinamide riboside opposes type 2 diabetes and diabetic neuropathy in mice. Um, the FDA granted... Uh, what's called uh, GRAS, GRAS status, which is generally recognized as safe status um, to nicotinamide riboside, and uh, and and so that you know when you when you take a look at that, I'm just looking at that, um, and that was tested up to uh, just huge huge amounts um, with with no no uh, safety issues at all involved with that, and and so. I like seeing that because that, that means that when I'm talking to somebody and they say, well, Kurt, you know, how much can I take? How much is too much? The other day he said, how much can I, you know, is too much to give my dog or, or anything like that? And, and uh, um, yeah, um, it, it's, ama it's amazing. And you start looking at, you know, some of the um, uh, precursors, uh, tryptophan. If you, if you look at the, the bottle of H-Pill, we've got tryptophan in there. It's actually one of the precursors for NAD. 
we've got nicotinic acid, which is one of the precursors. We've got nicotinamide riboside. We've got nicotinamide mononucleotide. Um, and, uh, uh, and, and it's, you know, the, the NAD supply, it's not just stagnant. It doesn't just stay at one level. What happens is it's constantly being consumed and replenished, and, and you see your body's using it and then rebuilding it, taking it apart and rebuilding it. And so the, and the entire NAD pool in your body is turned over two to four times every single day, so there has to be that salvage process. And, uh, and so um, what happens is, is as we get older, the body loses its ability to recycle this. And, and that's where we start to see some of the aging diseases and we start seeing um, all the different things that, that, that uh, the two of you were talking about and all these different things that we, that we, that we see. And, uh, and so nicotinamide riboside and, 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 and that um, stimulates the NAD levels to go back, back to the levels normally found in youthful humans that prevents and repairs damage in the various organs. Isn't that just cool when you start seeing that? Very cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, one of the things I say with my patients, see with my patients, is I, I look at their hands and, you know, there's a lot of people that have these, uh, what they, they call them, age spots or liver spots on, on their hands. And I, uh, I point out to them that if you have it on your skin, you've got it everywhere in your body. And that cellular junk, that, that lipofusion and is... Uh, you know, retards the growth of stem cells. It, it, it re retards the growth, the uh, healing process. It, it's it's part of the it's it's aging. You know, and and uh, you know, mine might have gone away. I've got one left that's fading. Um, so I know, because I know now, that not only is it going away on my skin, but it's going away in the rest of my body. And that's why I'm doing so much better. So it's easy to tell if a person has got that cellular sludge sludge that overload in their body by just looking at the, you know, their hands and seeing, seeing those eight spots on there. That, that's kind of like a, it's kind of like the engine light in your car, you know, on your dashboard. And uh, it's easy to, you know, I guess if the engine light comes on, you can pull your car over, rummage around and find some electrical tape and put it over the light and think you've solved the problem. But that's, <laughs> That doesn't do it. You got to fix where the problem is. The problem is you're accumulating all this sludge in your body over the years. And the good news is that you can get rid of it, and we didn't have that before. Uh, to the extent we have now with the H pill. Yeah, yeah, it's so true. Yeah. I'm just sitting here. I'm looking at another study. It came from a, a Brigham a Women's Hospital. And they said that, that the NAD, the natural molecule found in living cells, plants, and food, protects against autoimmune disease by altering the immune response and turning destructive cells into protective cells. And so, so they're saying that this NAD molecule can, can reverse disease progression by restoring damaged tissue caused by autoimmunity. I mean, isn't that huge? You think of all the diseases, Andrea, Dr. Kemp, Think of all the autoimmune diseases. There's 80 of them that are that are uh, named, and they're saying they're saying here um, this uh, doctor at at the Brigham Women's Hospital Division of Transplant Surgery and Transplantation Surgery Research Lab um, says these findings are novel and may serve for the development of novel therapeutics because they said that the NAD can tune the immune response and uh, restore tissue integrity by activating the stem cells. Wow. Yeah, that, that's exciting stuff. And if that doesn't motivate you, if you're, a, if you're a doctor, if that doesn't motivate you to, you know, get every one of your patients taking this stuff, I don't know what, what will. I mean, it, and, and, or if you're not a doctor, it doesn't matter. You've got friends, you've got loved ones. They need to be taking this stuff. Um, you're, you could be the hero, you know. You're going you're gonna to help a lot of people. You're lucky. If you're oh, yeah. Call. I mean, this other doctor at, at Brigham uh, Women's Hospital, she said this is the universal molecule that can potentially treat not only autoimmune diseases, but other acute or chronic conditions such as allergies, COPD, sepsis, and immunodeficiency. 
I, I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at this going, wow. Why, why, why isn't everybody jumping on this bandwagon? Good question. Because they don't know about it. We need to share. We need to share every single bit of this. And, and you know, so, hey, uh, I'm looking, it's a bottom of the hour, um, uh, bottom of the half hour. How quickly did that go by today, huh? Very fast. It's not hard to, to talk when you have something like this, is it? No. 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 So you, we should probably just get off the phone and start going out there sharing this with as many people as possible. Yeah. Before we get off the call, I just really want to share this with everybody. And this, this to me, is it's really, it's kind of, you know, like one of those moments where I, where I, where I feel like maybe we're making some headway. Um, last week, uh, last week when I, when I got back from Australia, my mom um, went to the hospital uh, because she was having some issues. She was having some severe leg pain. And uh, she had been to a couple doctors. She'd been to a therapist, the chiropractor, and and uh, and they were all, you know, saying that she had sciatica and back pain and all this stuff. It turns out that she had fractured her hip, and she had busted the ball of the hip uh, right off, and and the the hip had had uh, uh, displaced by over an inch. And when so when her orthopedic surgeon showed this to me, I was like, oh, holy cow! And he says, yeah. He says he said we don't know how your mom was still walking. And, and I said, well, you know, I, I've got some secret weapons that I've been having her on, and it probably was helping her body maintain. And so he wanted to see what she was on, and, and he totally amazed. Um, I showed him a research on the Sizzle Ripped product, and he said, you know, um, where can I get some of this for my patients? Because the research that I gave him showed that the uh, product formulation was based on, on research on how to return people to uh, normal life after having a knee surgery. And they're predicting that the number of knee surgeries as, as we see an aging population uh, is gonna go up really quickly here in the next 10, 12 years. And so he was, he was excited to see that. And then I showed him information on the sizzle age pill and, and he was excited to see that too. And he said, you know, most people would be in so severe pain with, with a fracture that you know they wouldn't be moving. And here my mom had been walking on it Anyhow, yesterday I was up at the hospital. They did the, the basically hip replacement uh, last Friday, and uh, and she was already walking on it yesterday. She's she's not taking any painkillers. Um, they're down to zero painkillers with her now. And uh, and I know when I run up there, as soon as the call's done, I'm going to run up there and and hang with her the rest of the day up at the hospital. But tomorrow she's uh, going to a rehab facility. Um, probably for a short time to rebuild that. But think about how quickly she's recovering from hip replacement. And, uh, yes. you know, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Well, that's what they said it would do. Like, even this is a rip, you know, it was basically designed to rebuild muscle. And it, they were using it a lot around joint replacement surgeries you know, to help rebuild that muscle. So it's really great your mom is on that too. Exactly, right. And and the hospital they're they're kinda looking the other way when they when they see me giving her the products, um, because, you know, they they, they, they don't want me giving it to her because they're they're not in control of that, but they kinda turn their head the other way because they know what, what I'm doing is working. Mhm. Mm so Anyhow, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys have some closing remarks. Thanks, everybody, for joining the call, and uh, thanks for listening to the recording. I'll, uh, I'll have it up on the Sizzle World Team channel here um, by the end of the day. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Dr. Kurt. Have a great day. Best for your mom, too, buddy. Thanks, everyone.